this is an interesting one right here. You know, for people that don't know, uh, trucking is regulated by the federal level. And states like California and Washington right now want to regulate trucking at their level of what they do. Now, in the trucking business, when you're driving after eight hours, you got to take a break, right? But in California, that's not the case. You know, after five hours, they want you to start taking breaks. And the vice president of FedEx says, look, you're going to start a supply chain problem. And because of it, it's going to cost, you know, the consumer millions of dollars, right? And so what are your thoughts about this? You know, uh, should the FMCSA allow California and Washington to force trucking companies to make their truck drivers take breaks under their state laws and not their federal law? Mother Truckers, uh, welcome to Mother Trucking News. Email us at mothertruckingnews at gmail.com. You know, I've had about uh, 20 truck drivers send me this article right here from Freight Waves, and pretty much it's an announcement from FedEx warning of higher costs under trucker rest break waivers. So for people that don't know, uh, trucking is federally regulated. So you got to follow the federal laws. But here's the thing, California and Washington you know, uh, they want a waiver saying, no, you got to follow the California and Washington laws when it comes to breaks, right? And so let's get into this article right here. But FedEx warns that if this goes through and they have to follow the California and Washington laws, prices for products, food items are going to go way up, right? And so this affects potentially all truck drivers in California and Washington, now, some people are telling me that they rather this because they feel like their company is working them to death already as a company driver. But there are owner operators that say, man, this is such a waste of time. Now I got to take lunch breaks when I don't want to. And this is just stupid. That's not why I became a truck driver. Multiple millions of dollars at stake if FMCSA approves hours of service waivers for California, Washington, delivery giant says. And FedEx Corp predicts higher costs on its line haul and delivery routes, as well as those of rivals of the Biden administration, approves waivers governing truck drivers' meal and rest breaks in California. No quote unquote, uh, states' rule on meal periods and rest breaks require FedEx and other transportation companies to revise routes as well as compensation plans and policies at a great operational cost, uh, wrote FedEx Corporate Vice President Clement Clank. My truckers, what are your thoughts about that? If you have to take breaks earlier than you want to, you know, do you want that? Do you hate that? You know, mother truckers, comment down below about that. Now, the California rule as it is, you know, for anyone that works in California, uh, you must be provided a 30-minute meal break if you work more than five hours in a day, and drivers who work a shift of 10 hours or more are entitled to a second 30-minute meal break. Drivers are also entitled to a 10-minute rest period for each four hours that they will work in a day. Mind you that Washington is the similar rule to that. Contrast, federal break rules require that truck drivers only take a 30-minute break after eight hours of driving time instead of on-duty time and allow an on-duty, not driving period to qualify as a required break. So, my truckers, what are your thoughts about this, right? Uh, if they have to be forced to do this and all trucking companies have to do this, then that would mean that uh, truck drivers within the first five hours are already taking breaks, right? And do you think that's going to mess up our supply chain? Do you think truck drivers really don't want that? Because if I'm driving, I'm not tired. You know, I don't want to be forced to take a break. Other truck drivers are telling me, you know, they like this rule. But then again, you know, the driver mentality isn't to take heck of breaks because <laughs> you're never going to get to where you need to go, right? My truckers, comment down below. What are your thoughts about this? You know, um, California and Washington, uh, they really want to fight for this. And they want trucking companies to really... Uh, go under their rules that they have for all other employees as of now. So, you know, my truckers comment down below. What are your thoughts? What's going on, mother truckers? We're hanging out here live at the Florida Trucking Show um, for Lauderdale. And we got my man here. And all I have to say is, you know, we, we brought two KWs. And guess who one of the people that drove this KW right here to this spot for us to have this podcast set up? was my man right here. Introduce yourself, brother. Yeah, my name is Cliff Woods. Um, I work for All Roads Kenworth here in Fort Lauderdale. 
Um, we appreciate the time. We appreciate him. We appreciate you, <laughs> Alex, for bringing us and helping us out with all this. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. advertising for us. We appreciate all of it. Oh, man, I appreciate it, too. And, you know, me and this man got to talking, and it's, it's almost like I've been a friend overnight. Yo, you thank know? you so much. I feel the same way. You You're know? good support. You help us all throughout the roads and everywhere, and I thank you for that. You know, so, hey, so, how at All Roads, what do you do for them over there? I test drive for the service department. And before I worked for uh, the company, I was a transporter for the sales department. Oh, my God. How long have you been a truck driver for, sir? Well, I've had my CDL since 93, Class A. So I've worked for vending companies, the local companies, Gold Coast Beverage, yeah. Double Eagle. Um, I've worked for bread companies in Central Florida, Bernie Little, Budweiser. So I've got plenty of experience with straight trucks, everything. Flatbeds, I've done it all. Oh my gosh. So, so what makes you still love trucking, brother? Because you're still in a truck to this day. Because it is the best thing there is. I'm a CDL driver. I'm a hard drive trucker. I love it. I love manual more than anything. The way yeah. I look at it, if yeah. you can't drive a manual, yeah. you're not a real truck driver. Oh. Sorry, guys, but oh, that's the way I look at it. So oh, you, you guys out there that hasn't driven a manual, you get the experience, trust me. You will never forget it, and you will want to drive more. Trust oh, me. I love it. it. I love it. It's nothing like the power having it in your hands instead of an automatic. Now, just to me, a manual is powerful. But mm -hmm. automatic's good, don't get me wrong. These trucks are automatic, which is drives like a car. I would recommend them to anyone that's getting started, that's getting on the road. It's the best thing there is. So don't knock, I'm not knocking automatics. I just love the manual because I feel like you have more control of the truck. I love that, I love that. You know, at the end of this, I mean, what would you like all the truck drivers out here to know, brother? Well, I'd like them to know that we support you, we're behind you. And we want you to be safe. We bless you all. And we thank you so much for all you do out there in the market for us all. And we're there at All Roads Kenworth of Fort Lauderdale to help you out, to service your trucks, do whatever you need. And just give us a call if you ever need us. We're here. I love it, brother. Thank you yes, so sir. much. Yeah. Thank you for all your time. Oh, man. Talk you people about. out there are great. God bless yeah, you. Yeah, let's go.